Ah, oh, what's up guys? Man, I gotta be honest with you. I've talked about it a little bit and you guys have said, yo, Adrian, what's up? Are you okay? But uh, not really. I mean, yes, I'm okay, but I'm in the hardest and most difficult season of my entire life. And that is okay. It's okay to be in that, that season. It's okay to feel pain. It's okay to be hurt. It's okay to experience trauma. That's what life is about, is these pains and this trauma and the hardships make us stronger, make us better. So today is not so much about a training, but more of a conversation that I wanna have with you. I just wanna have a conversation with you, talking about something that I think is really important. And a lot of you guys will understand this. And I think by the end of this video, you and I will be able to help each other more. I will be able to give you some things, not just trainings, but I will be able to give you some things walking away from this that you'll be really excited about. So hang with me today. We're gonna to talk about something that's kind of difficult, but at the same time is really important. So with that all being said, let's jump into it. So the reason why I created this channel was to serve people like yourself. When I first started, my friend said, who do you wanna help, Adrian? And I said, people like me. Well, who are you? I said, I'm a creative, I'm a graphic designer, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a business owner, I'm a dad, I'm a Christian. They, All right, a former homeless kid. Well, help those guys. High school dropout, help those guys. So I created this channel simply with no other intention other than to help people like you. And I think by the end of this video, I don't think, I know by the end of this video, there's gonna be an opportunity for you to chime in down below in the comments and to have a conversation with me and to get some feedback to help this channel become better and to help your life become better. So without going into a ton of details, cause I honestly can't, but I wanna be vulnerable. I wanna be open with you guys. I have people from my past life and even in my current life who have made it their mission to make up lies about me, about my personal life that have deeply hurt me. It's hurt my family, it's hurt my children, it's hurt my business and my friends. It's hurt a lot of people and not necessarily financially, but it's hurt people emotionally and it's left a ripple effect out of just because of hate and anger and jealousy and greed and a lot of different variables that I can't go into today, but people are going to hurt you. Hurt people hurt people and you need to walk away from this with grace, forgiveness and understanding and that's what I'm about. That's what I've really pushed myself forward because I've had some really dark moments, some moments where I've just wanted to leave this earth. And I know some of you guys have dealt with that feeling and I've dealt with that pain. This is real. This is a real pain that you're gonna have to work through. Not bury, but actually work through. And in these dark moments, it reveals your true character, who you are, and what's most important to you. And there are three things that really helped me see that the, every, every single crisis has an opportunity. And when you're in the middle of your crisis, the last thing you wanna hear is, God's gonna do something great with this. You're like, <laughs> Whatever, man, you don't wanna hear that, right? What you wanna hear is, man, I'm so sorry you're going through this, this sucks, this sucks. But a lot of people have this positivity and they want you to just power through it instead of really feeling your pain. And in this season, this was the first season where I was really able and allowed to feel my pain. And through that pain, I had a lot of breakthroughs that came into my life and I wanna share those with you guys. The first breakthrough that I realized is, I knew I was strong, but I'm stronger now than I've ever been in my whole life. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, I'm a much stronger, much better person than I've ever been. And this crisis has shaped that. It's put me into the fire. And like gold, when it comes into fire, things are refined. And I've been refined in a way that most people, and even including you probably, haven't even seen yet. The best is still yet to come. And so because of that, I'm grateful for the challenge. I'm grateful for the hardship. I'm grateful for the pain as hard as it is, but, and I wouldn't change it, but at the same time, I'm now stronger and I'm better than I've ever been. The second thing that's really big for me and the second opportunity that I found already for this is my relationships, whether it's my marriage, my friendships, my relationship with God, my relationships are also stronger than they've ever been before. I trust God, I trust my wife, I trust my family, I trust my friends. They've all shown up for me in ways that I never expected them to. On my darkest days, people that I didn't know were gonna show up for me, showed up for me. When I needed to go to Texas to be around brothers and friends in the Billion Dollar Brotherhood, where I got this shirt, the Average Sucks shirt, these guys went out over and above for me, gave me a place to stay, got me my ticket to fly out, took care of me, and I never knew that that was gonna be something that would happen. And it made me realize that friendship and these relationships that I've had and the seeds that I've sown 
are paying even to this day and they're there for those hardships. And you don't have to expect that from people, but when you just see people acting and moving by their own volition, by their own heart, because of the person that you are, that is a really amazing and beautiful thing. And I'm really grateful that this crisis brought me that opportunity to see who my real friends are. And it's even revealed who my real friends are not. There have been people through this process that have totally backstabbed me, betrayed me, betrayed my trust, my friendship, and those people are no longer my friends. Am I okay with them? Yeah, we're no longer friends. So these hard times will reveal who your friends are and who your friends are not. The third opportunity that came from this is just out of pure necessity is my business. My business is still growing despite my involvement being less than it's ever been before. Now, have we made some sacrifices? Have we had to cut some things back? Absolutely. But the reality is, is my business is actually thriving and still in growth mode without my regular involvement. I was working 60, 70, sometimes 80 hours a week, grinding even till you know midnight, one o'clock in the morning. I wasn't doing it like I was in my 20s, but I love to work. I'm really passionate about what I do and I put in a lot of hours. I'm working less than half of that now. And that's not by my own choice, that's just by my situation. My number one priority right now is to take care of my family. Nothing else matters to me, not money, not business, not clients, not videos. The reason why I'm still doing these videos is because I made an, a, a, a commitment to myself and I'm making a commitment to you. And I'm holding myself accountable to continue to do these. This is part of my healing. This is part of my process to continue to pour into you guys and for you guys to know that I'm gonna show up for you guys and no matter what season I'm in. And I think that's one of the biggest takeaways from this video that I hope you really take to heart is I'm showing up for you guys in the absolute worst and most difficult situations that I'm in. And nobody's expecting perfection. Could I be doing better? Could I come up with better topics? Maybe. If you got a good topic you would like me to talk about, drop it down below. I'm here to answer all your questions. But this is an opportunity for us to grow deeper together, for you to get to know me a little bit more and to know that I'm really not okay, but I'm going to be okay. Everybody has storms in their life. And there's a saying that my buddy Cody, Cody told me about that a pastor said, and you're either heading into a storm, you're either in a storm, or you're coming out of one. Right now, I just happen to be in the middle of a storm, but I'm also exiting that storm. It's not as fast as I want it to be. I'm really learning a lot of patience through this process, but you really need to understand that we're all going to be in storms throughout our life. No one is, is uh, invincible to that. No one is going to be able to avoid that forever, no matter how great you are. And this is just something you're gonna have to accept. The last thing I want you to remember and take away from this video, besides giving me your feedback and letting me know what storms you're going through, if you're in a good season, if you're in a bad season, whatever that is, is I want you to know that this too shall pass. This is a word that I got that I feel is really important that I'm supposed to share. This too will pass. These storms all pass. No storm lasts forever, whether it's a hurricane, no matter how bad and terrible the storm, how many people it wipes out, they don't last forever. You will get through it. You got to put your head down and endure it. It's going to be painful. It's going to be hard, but you're going to come out on the other side, a better person, a better leader, a better creative, and a, just a better human being all around. The other thing I want you to know is that I'm genuinely here for you. You have people in your corner that you probably didn't even realize that are genuinely here for you. Now, there have been a couple people through this process that I want to take responsibility for that have reached out to me that have been some difficult times and they happened to message me on days that I was at a really low place and I didn't get back to them. Not that I'm not going to get back to them, but I didn't get back to them at that time and that I just can't serve everybody all the time. I'm just a human being. And again, it comes back to the other video I talked about of setting boundaries for yourself. When you're in that space and you're empty, you can't fill anybody else's cup and you really shouldn't. So I just want you to know that I'm here for you and I will serve you at my absolute best. If you don't hear back from me, you can just drop a comment. You can send me another email and follow up with me. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. I take accountability for my mistakes. I want you to do that as well. But if you need my support, you need to know that I'm here for you. And the last thing is community. If you don't have community right now, that is your next step. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. I've built it already, they're amazing people. I've turned down more than 50% of the people that have wanted to be part of our community, and this is your chance. Go to Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, just sign up. You only have to use it for just that. You don't have to do it for anything else, but sign up, fill out all the questions in our group, and you just search our group, type in Instagraphics Pro Network. There's a link down in the description if you're trying to find it, it's easy to find. Join our community there. We're gonna be opening up something else pretty soon that's gonna be free that you're gonna love. I think you're really going to enjoy, but you need to get yourself around community, around people who want to support you. One of the biggest reasons why I made it through the way I did 
aside from my billion dollar brotherhood brothers is my Instagraphics community and the relationships that I've built and the seeds that I've sown. So community is a really big deal. I wanna see you guys get through this. Remember this too shall pass. I'm here for you. And make sure you drop a comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I post more videos and we'll stay in touch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.